Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jess and thank you so much for watching this video. I wanted to define 3D, 4D, and 5D. So this video is dedicated to defining these terms because I know it can get confusing. Um, these terms come up a lot when talking about the new earth and ascension. And the guides wanted to clarify these terms so that you can move forward understanding what exactly we're talking about when we reference 3D, 4D, and 5D. So let's get right into it. I asked the guides, can you describe the difference between 3D, 4D, and 5D from their perspective? And what came through was that 3D is illusion or belief of empty matter. Knowledge about elements and knowledge about God through religion and knowledge about life act as a portal illusion of beliefs on life. Meaning, in 3D, your beliefs about religion, God, elements of earth, and general life become like a portal of living your life. I was shown a vision of like being a horse with blinders on and you can only see what's in front of you. You can't see anything else around you. Your beliefs are very limited, but they make up your entire life. And this is 3D. The guides go on to say, Shindig life experience. Perspective, not bigger picture perspective. Life is just something to get over with. Many people on planet live shindig lives. Guilford Island, or New Earth Bliss and Joy, does not honor shindig life perspective. You can interpret shindig however you want. When I looked it up, it says... Um, the definition was a large, lively party, especially one celebrating something. But when I was receiving the transmission, when Shindig came through, what resonated with me was kind of just like er very earthly, very, you know, even like bland, very um, just like uh, n like normal. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it wasn't anything like, you know, big and celebratory. It was just kind of like a blah kind of thing. The guides go on to say, people need to definitely begin to have more fun. Enjoy life and Guilford Island will be theirs. People in 3D who are able to enjoy life will be affected by others existing in 4D and 5D. Knowledge about ascension, new earth, and 5D reality will integrate in 3D people's ACE cellular structure and begin new earth transition. They also want you to know that from that 3D perspective or reality, when you have knowledge about 5D, it opens the door for you to step into 4D from that 3D perspective. So being open again to information about 5D new earth ascension allows you to kind of step up energetically um, because it's all about consciousness, it's all about awareness. Then that kind of goes into their definition of 4D. And they say 4D is the illusion or belief of integration of oneness. So this is like stepping out from 3D because you're now having that awareness of 5D and ascension and new earth and you're kind of stepping out of 3D, stepping up into 4D because your awareness is growing and you're becoming um, more conscious about um, expansion, basically. The guides go on to say, knowledge about ascension, new earth, 5D, but not fully there yet. 4D is an energy portal to 5D earth. In 4D Earth, knowing efficiently about 5D will open you up to receiving knowledge and integration of knowledge of 5D Earth. And then they go on to explain 5D. And what came through was 5D Earth is absolute joy and Guilford Island, beloved by anyone in the galaxy. So please watch my previous video titled Guilford Island Knowledge to understand this metaphor or term of Guilford Island that the guides love to use often uh, in, in referencing New Earth, Joy, and Bliss. So they go on to say, Love binds New Earth 5D reality because members or people of New Earth 
are of higher consciousness level and higher frequency, vibration, and energy. Knowledge about New Earth integrated fully and knowledge about oneness integrated fully. Guilford Island, definitely Guilford Island, not affected by lower frequency members of society. I went on to ask, so it sounds a lot like 3D, 4D, and 5D are stages of consciousness. And I asked them, is this correct? And what came through was yes, open-mindedness, not closed-mindedness. Open to new ideas and perspectives. People are so closed off to new inner perspectives and listening to others' Guilford Island experiences. Knowledge about New Earth joyfully requires an open mind, not a closed mind. People are too consumed with electronics and their appearance. People affected too easily by other people. People need to start lowering phones, efficiently opening eyes to knowledge about New Earth. People need to start honing intuition ability, almost as if it is your main physical sense. Guilford Island, or New Earth Bliss and Joy, in everyone, but only if you can tap into it. Intuition helps you to tap into Guilford Island and New Earth frequency. So, to review what the guide said, in my own interpretation, 3D is very elemental. The knowledge and beliefs about religion, God, earthly institutions, elements of earth, and general life in the way that it's presented to you with your physical senses. For example, what you can see, touch, taste. There's not much room for interpretation or exploring deeper meanings than what is in front of you and presented to you in the physical. It's like you have blinders on. It's like whatever the news tells you, that's what you believe. It's like a horse with blinders and you can only see what's in front of you. Your beliefs are limited, but they make up your entire life. 4D is the portal between 3D and 5D. It's about integrating more knowledge and beliefs that are outside of the physical and 3D experience. It is the opening up to new information, new ideas, new beliefs that are held at a deeper and higher level. In the ascension process, 4D is about being open to oneness, being open to knowledge about ascension, new earth, and 5D. You're gathering information, you're opening up your awareness, you're just like flowering, you're opening up your energy and your awareness. And finally, 5D is about living in new earth, oneness frequency. Your energy is about love and oneness and connectedness. You have gained a higher perspective, a higher frequency, a higher consciousness, higher energy and vibration. This allows you to exist in basically a different reality that is made up of those same things because law of attraction. You are attracting to you whatever you are vibrationally aligned to. But you have to do the work to crawl out of 3D into 4D into 5D. It's not going to just come to you. You have to put in the work energetically and emotionally to get to that vibrational reality. It is your emotions that pull you into whatever 3D, 4D, or 5D that you want to exist in. So you have to learn to control your emotional state in whatever vibration or frequency you want to exist in. Many people bounce around with their emotions so they're unable to really get past that 3D state or reality. If they react negatively to every negative situation, then it's harder to bring yourself to raise your frequency long enough to hold a higher dimensional or frequency state. If you're able to master your emotions and hold a higher frequency energy despite any negative situations happening around you, then you are well on your way towards your dimensional and frequency shift. The energy integrations and waves of energy and knowledge integration coming to the planet from the central sun 
or coming into your awareness from information that you're gathering is really helping to shift the consciousness and awareness of yourself or the people on the planet. It's helping to plant those seeds of that emotional shift in your awareness and consciousness and frequency so that more people can be able to achieve that climbing out of 3D into 4D and into 5D. I know it can be confusing, but I hope that helps you to understand the difference between 3D, 4D, and 5D. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I'll see you in the next video.